Yo, what are you saying? It's Spessy here. I just recorded this video with my mic muted. What a stinker. So I'm going to show you some gameplay from my stream rather than playing a game because I don't have time, unfortunately, but I hope that's okay. Um, it's a Ronvid Revenant deck, which I've been playing loads in the last couple seasons. And I uploaded a video with Offering in the deck as well a couple of weeks ago. So it's an improvement on the deck. Obviously, the meta's developed a bit and I sort of know a little bit more about how to build a Northern Realms deck. Um, we're going to use a Neuromancy and a Salt. This is generally the way I prefer playing northern realms i think if you're playing devotion it's better to go for john natalis and no aniromancy but i think it's just better because you want to be able to tutor your big gold cards and also playing ronvid with aniromancy makes an awful lot of sense because there's a lot of the time where you want to get ronvid down in round one and you don't want to commit an assault on him but you'd much rather use something like aniromancy so yeah um your main hensel target or mobilization target is going to be this lone revenant in the deck a lot of these decks previously used two revenants this one is just using one and i think offering sort of allows you to do that because if you don't have that forbidden magic guaranteed you can just offering out a revenant that you've probably played in round one from your forbidden magics uh get that back on the board and then you can use your mobilization either ability uh kill ronvid and then every time you play a soldier ronvid's going to come back what you want to do is you want to focus on one row for your revenants filling the row with revenants and then you're going to try and get some humans stacked in the other row and then you can hen cell so you can draug to turn all of those humans which is normally not going to be that many it's like four three or four which is normally enough because you can overfill very easy with this deck and um then you voimir hopefully your whole board of revenants that's the objective but of course there's going to be some other cards that don't get turned into revenants i'm sure but it's a really nice finisher. There's quite a few things you can do with this that I'm going to explore on stream, as I say. I'm just going to show you with the deck that I've played that I know is effective. And obviously just stay tuned to see if I do make any changes. So it is still Draug. Even though Draug is kind of a bit sketchy, um, you often don't get the most Draug value. I think it's enough. Just power you through, you get like extra Ronvid value. And your opponent's not going to be able to answer this Draug anyway. And normally you're filling up so much with Frigates and with revenants that you don't even need a massive draug so it's possible you maybe run like one frigate i've been using two offerings today as well it's possible you just run one offering i'm going to experiment a little bit but the core of the list is pretty much bob on you're going to use fallibor you're going to use baron now i've also been using heatwave today it's possible you could ditch heatwave and go for like a daily of vanguards gonna like i say experiment with it but i love heatwave off of neuromancy it's great at punishing people that are going to ta something turn one for instance against skelliger they love taing something turn one the warrior that buffs cards up you could just heatwave that and then you can play lots of high tempo plays and hopefully win on even or at least put a lot of pressure on them which is really nice also it's just good against monsters which there's quite a lot of floating about uh there's quite a lot of greedy shiru decks with hammer dryads that i've been playing against and this heat wave just comes in really useful there as well i love having a heat wave uh, i think having baron and heat wave just gives you a lot of flexibility you don't feel bad about committing your baron round one in a lot of matchups you can go eh i can play baron because i know i've got that heat wave uh, so i do like this as an option quite a lot of cards are going to be lower down the pecking order um I think fours are a good place to start. Maulers, Ballistas, Royal Guards are going to be pretty much shoo-ins whenever you're playing Magics, as well as Sheila is as well. Just really nice ways of lining up Revenants and Forbidden Magics. Just very, very solid. And as you can see, we've got 21 provisions left in four cards. There's a couple of things you want to consider. Like, are you going to use um, some sort of oils? Because we don't have much direct control. And I think that's very important to have against Skelliger in particular. So I think you're going to run at least one oil. Ideally probably want to run two similarly you probably want to run a pella um because it's a nice option to have against skelliger and nilfgaard also it gives you a nice option on your offering as well you could go for a cintrian artificer here as that is also an option to deny turgvi value and you can you know protect your frigate potentially as well with this card i think pella is just a little bit safer though uh, also it's a human i mean this is too but you can turn it into a revenant off drag so that's an option and then we're left with six provisions which i've just been using two offerings today and in the video you're going to see me using two offerings but i'm not sure two offerings is necessarily correct i feel like one offering might just be a little bit more flexible but what offering gives you is you can kill your ronvid and then you can play a frigate and you could hen sell another frigate out or you could obviously just play probably a revenant that's in your graveyard from your magic round one and it's a pretty nice option to have also you can use offering on your opponent's side of the board you're lining up lots of ones anyway often and yeah obviously your revenants are doing that as well so it sort of competes with your revenants in many ways 
So maybe one's fair. And there's also the possibility you just run like one frigate as well. And you could maybe run a daily of vanguards. But this is the list that's been working for me today. I do think it's pretty solid. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I've actually forgotten something important that is in the deck. Definitely want to have is a bomb either. So my list has looked something a little bit more like that. I think in the video, I didn't have a Pella. I think you probably want to include a Pella. But certainly going to play around with this deck a little bit more. I think um, maybe you could just free up a few more provisions elsewhere. Maybe you just run one Frigate, for example. One Offering. And you could maybe run Vanguards with a Dahlia as well. Um, and I think also Vanguards would be a great, great option for Offering. So you could maybe ditch Heatwave. You could maybe run a Reinforcements. And then you're just going to have to lose something else, right? It's a little bit sketchy, but yeah, you get the gist of what you can sort of do. The deck list I've been using in the video will be in the description. Uh, I hope you enjoy the deck. It's been doing really well for me. I've climbed pretty consistently with it today. Didn't play loads of games, but um, probably only lost like two or three games. So unfortunately, not going to be able to show you the video of like me going into a game because I just don't have time today with having my microphone muted. But um, I'll show you my MMR. Let me know what other decks you guys want to see. This is where we're at with our Northern Realms. 2,466. Not that good, but not terrible. And we did get there pretty consistently. Like I was down at 2,400 this morning. So we got there very quickly with this deck. So, um, yep. Going to be playing Nilfgaard and Skelliger probably as well to try and see if I can maybe finish top 64. It's a little bit ambitious, but who knows. Nice one for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And most importantly, I hope you enjoyed the deck. Sweet as a nut. Hopefully, you'll see a little bit of an update on Romvid in the next couple of days but just wanted to get this upload to you sweet adios okay sk last game of the stream lads let's go this is why it's just nice revenant's just a free mulligan every time and having two of them just makes things awkward when you're using offering bomb heaver etc so we can actually keep the offering in our opening hand here i'm pretty sure two oils is nice a ballista is nice we always want to push some sort of mulligan here I guess it's the offering. Yep. Mm -mm. No, it played Harold round one and didn't even have enough points to win the round, and it, he forfeited. It was a, it was a moment. It was interesting. That is for sure. There's always a ballista here. Because even if he poison, obviously if he locks it, okay, I don't deal with it. But yo, talk. What's up, man? How you doing? Last game of the stream, everyone. Can we get a win? We'll be uploading on the old YouTubes later. If you don't subscribe already. I've been uploading lots of content. Two videos yesterday. It'll be one today, one tomorrow. So it does get, give up the lock. Which, like, okay, it seems bad for us, but it's really not. Like, he's given up a lock on a ballista. When I've got frigates, etc. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Giving up a Neuromancy is pretty sketchy. I don't know, man. I feel like I just run vid and pass here. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'd rather save my oils in this matchup. War Council, what? Interesting. Yeah, whatever. I think we should be able to get some good cards out of him with this line of play here. It's been really bad for, by him, to be completely honest. It's a really bad opening by him. <laughs> Let's stop putting my socks on so I can just bail as soon as this game ends. Don't mind me. Nice. So we've got the option of bleeding him here as well. He's played that so badly. We ditch the frigate. Did we ditch the frigate? It's not really in danger of dying, is it? To be honest. I mean, I guess we're always AAing for. Eh? Ditch it, I think. 
I don't want to hit the... This is good. I don't want to hit the Revenant. My hand does have a serious lack of soldiers. That is the bad news. We have the Bomb Heaver at least. It's always nice. Yennefer on the frigate. Okay. Quite annoying. Maybe I'm just passing, guys. Definitely possible. Yeah, I think I just pass, honestly. Not gonna lie. Getting Yennefer out is pretty good. I do hate the pass here, but ultimately I have a bomb heaver. So. I don't really have a life outside, unfortunately. Quite rare for me to leave the house. <laughs> oh, this guy's a Gwent partner. What an absolute don. Respect. Respect. Offering kind of sucks at the moment because I've got no good targets, but this is always a Revenant, guaranteed, pretty much. Yeah, I can kick this. Maybe the Forbidden Magic is quite sketchy, though, honestly. Now I've got Sheila. Yeah, one Revenant feels so much better. This is a Frigate, which is actually pretty scary, not gonna lie. Went part one absolute don. I wonder who we're playing against. No one's surprised by that. Offering value, by the way. No, nothing good to uh, res though, unfortunately. So it's just gonna be a magic. We're going Magic Henselt. Surprise doesn't go for the copy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're kind of in a wee bit of trouble. That card needs to get out of here. I've got a nice drag on the front row though. Excuse me opponent, you're supposed to be playing into my magic. Not fallible here. Purify is probably the vibe that we're missing. Could whack a Pella in. Does this guy really not draw his boar or is he just trying to bait me out? Pretty sure he's trying to bait me out. Oh my god. This is excruciating. Yeah. Unbelievable Truth. family off drown here, lad. Truth. 
So they're not offering Ronvid to get out another Revenant genius, right? Catch. So here, i offering the Revenant to play the Revenant again. Genius, but it's a one strength. <gasps> Guys, I've just realized as well. Oh, this is actually really cool. You can transform bronze units. What you can do, you can transform gold units, like a Baron, into a Revenant, and then you can offering a six strength Revenant. <gasps> Genius. Maybe we should play Count Caldwell. Ten strength, ten strength Revenant on offering. <laughs> so look, I can raise a one strength Revenant now. Get in there. So good. This is a frigate, bear in mind. These two cards just feeling super awkward, to be honest with you. You know he doesn't have Yen. I think the issue again is my mulligans more than anything, to be completely honest. Last card, Vincent, I guess. I was supposed to forbid a magic that, correct? I forbid a magic it and then I just res a raw guard front row. Never mind. Let's go, man. What a win. What a win. What a win. And that'll be the YouTube video. That's the last game I'm playing for the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed that victory. <laughs> very, very nice indeed. Seemed like a super.